Our weekly segments with uh, area mayors back up and running. And this morning we're joined by Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. Good to see you. Great to see you again. Happy New Year, if I can still say that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I don't know when the cutoff is for that, but it has been that long. And uh, so since we last talked, now the, you know, the recategorization with zones and Halton in the uh, red zone. What's your thoughts on that? I know our community and our businesses for sure are very happy to see that. And the health indicators support this. We are, as of yesterday, five new cases, 42 active cases in Burlington. And there was a time back in the fall when before we had to go into lockdown when our daily increase in infections was bigger than that. So the, the measures worked. Uh, and and we're seeing a continued downward trend in our infection rates across the region. So now's the time to start safely reopening. Yeah, so so great. The numbers are going the right way. Do you have a timeline for the next uh, recategorization? Well, I think they'll they have said they'll look at what happens over the next two weeks to see whether the numbers keep staying down, and if so, then we can have a conversation. At, you know about. Uh, what what happens next and really the message I want to send to the community is this is not the time to let our guard down we have to continue to wear masks stay six feet away from people you don't live with all of the other health measures are critically important especially as we reopen yeah what's the uh, snapshot right now with, with the business community I, we lost some great Burlington restaurants through this pandemic how are our businesses holding up right now well, the hardest hit, of course, is our restaurant and hospitality sector and our personal services. I mean, there are uh, businesses that simply could not recover. There are businesses that are hanging on by a thread. And so throughout the pandemic, we have tried to work with them to put money on the table. We've put $235,000 uh, in grant money on the table. We deferred taxes. We're going to have that conversation again about this year. We put free parking and transit. So we've tried to do everything we can to supplement what's happening at the provincial and federal levels. It's helped, uh, but we've still lost some really good businesses. Yeah, um, that Main Street uh, relief program is uh, expanded. So there'll be uh, more businesses in Burlington that will be eligible for that, for PPE. That's right. It, it's a really important program that we've advocated for. Our next advocacy is actually around capacity limits in restaurants. So the, the province fixed the hard cap for big box stores uh, and retail so that it's not, a, it's not a number, it's a percentage of capacity, and they need to do that for our restaurant sector as well. How will Burlington fare under the new vaccination distribution plan? We uh, stay tuned. There should be an announcement shortly about the uh, sites that are being picked throughout Halton, including Burlington. We're talking about that at Regional Council today. So okay, and how's the storm cleanup progressing? Because Burlington got whacked, was like everyone else. We we did. I haven't seen snowbanks this high since my kids were young enough to build forts in them. Uh, but we've had all the streets uh, have at least one pass and the snow, uh, the sidewalk snow clearing is out there. So about probably half, I would say, has been done and will be completed uh, the rest of today. So okay. really great job by our team. Also completed is the budget. Before we go, what's your highlights for the 2021 budget and uh, this year's tax bill? Where are we at? So we approved our capital. Uh, next week is when we approve our operating. And our staff uh, originally brought in a, a proposal with a 4.9% city increase, which translates, once you blend it with region and education, to about a 2.8 impact on the tax bill. We've asked our staff to shave a percent off that, and we head into discussions next Tuesday to do that. So we're hoping to get it below 2.5% uh, total impact. Okay. We'll... Uh talk about uh, we'll get that update uh, as we chat many Next times in, in the year ahead <laughs> and yeah happy new year ha happy new year i'm looking forward to it